There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, a boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to your scientific terms video for the electrochemistry chapter. This video is quite important because we actually cover all the scientific terms which are mentioned in the syllabus and also throughout the videos. Now when it comes to why you need to know these terms, your exam questions might actually have these terms in the exam question or you should be adding those terms into your answers for your short answer questions. So it's always good to know these types of terms. So first I'm going to cover them one by one. First is displacement. So in displacement we're talking about metal being displaced by or replaced by an ion. So for example if we have a zinc electrode and then we have copper ions, the copper go onto the zinc, then copper is replacing zinc, so it's being displaced. It's displacement. The activity of metals is how likely a metal is to lose electrons. So if we said for example that zinc is more active than copper because zinc likes to lose electrons more than copper does. Oxidation state was the theoretical number of electrons a particle has gained or lost. So a theoretical number of electrons a particle has gained or lost. So for example, we say that you know, zinc, if it's elemental, it's zero because it's neutral. Whereas if it's an ion, zinc 2 plus, for example, then it has lost two electrons. So that oxidation state tells, tells us how much it's lost or gained. Half equations. Half equations, I've gotten two half equations here just to show you again what that was. That's what happens at one of the half cells. So for example, zinc at one half cell comes from zinc elemental and zinc oxide and thereby loses two electrons, whereas copper at the other half equation is copper gains two electrons to become copper elemental. So these two were both half equations and together they're the full equation. Reduction was the lowering of the oxidation number or the gain of electrons. So for example here we have copper which is 2 plus here and copper elemental is 0 so it's gone from 2 plus to 0 which means it's been reduced or reduction has occurred and also another way of looking at it is it's gained electrons, it's gained these two electrons. Whereas oxidation is the increase in the oxidation number or the loss of electrons. In this case it's gone from 0 to 2 so it's increased oxidation number or we could also view it as it's lost electrons. Oil rig, that was the acronym. Oil stands for oxidation is loss. Rig stands for reduction is gain. Reduced, again, that's the same as reduction, just different term that gets, sometimes gets used. Oxidized is the same as oxidation. So oxi oxidized means it's lost electrons. Reduced means it's gained electrons. Galvanic cell, that was a cell that produces electricity. So all your electrodes, electrolyzed, the salt bridge, all that together is your galvanic cell. Your electrode. That was your conducting metal of the galvanic cell. So for example, a zinc electrode and a copper electrode, these metals help conduct electricity. We had anode, which was the electrode where oxidation occurs. So where the metal itself loses electrons, that's in the anode. And the cathode was the electrode where reduction occurs. So that was the electrode where the actual metal gains electrons. We have our salt bridge, and that salt bridge was the thing that was the salt soaked paper, so we had salt soaked paper, and without the salt bridge there would be no completion of the circuit, so electricity wouldn't be able to flow without the salt bridge. We have our half cells, so the electrode and the electrolyte of one cell makes a half cell. We have two half cells to make up the galvanic cell, so copper and copper solution plus zinc and zinc solution, each of those is a half cell, and together they make the galvanic cell. Electrolyte was a solution of the metal ions. So for example, if we have zinc as our electrode, it would be, for example, zinc sulfate as our ionic solution. Now, cell potential, or another way it's used is this E thingy here, is how fast electrons flow. So how fast it flows is our cell potential, and that's measured in voltage. Reduction potential, that's how likely an element is to gain electrons. So the likelihood of an element to gain electrons and generally if it's plus, that means that actual element likes to gain electrons. So for example, copper was plus because it likes to gain electrons, whereas zinc was minus because it likes not doesn't like to um, gain electrons as much as copper does. We had a dry cell battery, which was those AA batteries or the AAA batteries, so the disposable ones. Button cell batteries, these were the batteries which were used in watches, so small ones which looked a bit like a button, these were button batteries. 
an ion. That was some an atom that either gained or lost electrons. So they're not an atom anymore of an ion because they've either gained or lost electrons. An atom has to be neutral. If it's in its elemental state, that means it's neutral, which means it has not lost or gained electrons. So for example, zinc would be its elemental state, whereas zinc 2 plus would be the ion. So hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.